Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Tara, a farmer from Northern California, and this channel is mainly about farming, but sometimes it's not. We had a windy morning the other day, and my shades got blown off my chicken coop. If you can see them hanging on the side, so I gotta add that to my project list. The weather is getting real beautiful. I've got one little sick lady in here. So she's in this omelet by herself. She's got a respiratory issue and uh, I had to give her some medicine where you have to throw out her eggs. So, but I actually think I might move her. I need to clean it up a little bit, but I think I'm gonna move her into this chicken coop because don't tell my husband. <laughs> I have a chicken, uh, one of my bantams went broody, so she's laying on eggs, and uh, I gave in. I gave in and I let her sit on them. So I like to, I would like to put her in that omelet one, because then the little chicks don't have a ramp. I've noticed she's had some sister, sister mothers. Yeah. So I think one of these, what, they're gonna try to peck at me. This is the main one, I'd say, the more tan one. So these other ones I need to kick out and because uh, last time I let multiple mothers lay on the eggs and then when they hatched, that was a little bit of an issue. So we just want one mom, guys. Get back, get back. So you can see I put X's. Okay. She's like, excuse me, lady. Um, I put, get back. I put X's on the ones that are uh, what they're laying on. So it looks like we only got one laid that is not. And it's totally okay to push them off like that. They'll go down, drink water, eat some food, and come right back up. Um, but yeah, so I want to get one mom and all her eggs and put them in that one. What I was saying about the weather is I think today's gonna be 69. It's a little cool this morning, but not bad. Tomorrow's supposed to be like 75. And then the day after, it's supposed to be 80. 80 guys. So uh, yeah, weather's getting nice. All right, let's take care of the chickens, collect eggs. You can't really tell it so much in my coveralls, but I am pushing six months pregnant. <laughs> Things are going really well. I feel pretty good. Been having some back pain, um, but other than that, I've been feeling really good. Oh my goodness, ladies. It's, it's almost 7.30. Come on, ladies. It's time to wake up. Everybody's sleeping in. I think I need to put chicken coop cleaning on this weekend's to-do list as well. They're due. All right, let's head to the farm. All right, so we are starting to consider planting more grapes. By we, I mean my dad really wants me to plant more grapes. So we've got a couple fields right behind my grapes that I'm gonna head out and survey to see if they need to be leveled. And then we're gonna start looking into it. Gotta start looking for contracts, which would be pretty cool because I didn't have my YouTube channel when we planted grapes the first time. So if I plant grapes again, you guys will get to see the entire process, which will be totally cool. So we're gonna head out and survey those fields. We'll make a pit stop in the vineyard. Um, if you see, I don't think you guys will see, but I've been tying my coveralls like this because it's more comfortable. So I want to show you guys in the vineyard. We uh, chopped everything. So my, my cover crop is chopped and we didn't like really need to chop the cover crop. But what we did is we got a lot of the prunings into the center and then we chop them. So it doesn't hurt the cover crop. It'll grow back. 
So we got it chopped and we also started spraying. And if you guys saw my video, we got a new employee, John. So he's been helping with the spraying. You can kind of see like the yellow lines <laughs> within the green and that's when he's turning. This all needs to be chopped too, but I had to borrow a chopper. So I definitely, uh, that's next on my list that I need to buy. But everything's looking good out here. The vines are still basically asleep. It looks like we're getting a little bit of bud swell. So if you look here, and unfortunately my GoPro doesn't have the best focus when I get up real close, I often have to use my phone. You know what, let's switch to the phone. Okay, recording with the iPhone. So if you guys look here, there's a bud and it is still tiny, completely dormant. Let's show another one. You can just see a little bit of kind of like white. It almost looks like um, spider web. So those are dormant. Now, where did I just see that one? So here's a guy that's starting to wake up right there. So that's called bud swell. And they'll just start getting a little bit bigger. They'll start swelling. And then next will be bud break, which I do not have any yet. And that's when we'll start seeing leaves. So we really want to get the whole vineyard sprayed before bud break. So the bud swell is okay, but we want to keep moving before bud break happens. And like I told you guys earlier, we're looking at some beautiful weather over the next few weeks. So it sounds like John will be here all day Saturday spraying. It looks like there should be no wind. So if you guys didn't know, if there's wind, we can't spray. So hopefully Saturday we'll have no wind and John can get the spraying done and then that'll be behind us. All right, so here's one of the fields I'm gonna survey and there's four fields. So we're gonna head down there and we're gonna get started. Let's see, there, you guys can kind of see me. Heading to the farm early this morning. I just let the chickens out and uh, we're getting going today. It is Saturday and there is no wind. There's supposed to be no wind all day and it's supposed to be in the low 80s. So it's gonna be a gorgeous day today and we wanna get the vineyard sprayed. go ahead I think Jose will be here in about 10 minutes so I'm just gonna go ahead and turn my tractor on oh. Ooh, get the AC shut off and the heater on all right now it'll be warm when he gets here at least going here he goes we are started so I do have the arms that go over there's a few reasons why we didn't use them John's been running the sprayer and just because it's his first time I didn't want him to have to deal with those arms and to be honest I think they were a little bit of a mistake like they are nice because you obviously get the spraying done twice as fast but they rock and I broke those arms off so many times last year because they get caught on the vines or they get caught on the cross arms and unfortunately they've been a bigger pain than probably they were worth but oh well okay it is about two o'clock in the afternoon we're still rolling still moving He's doing good. We're over 50% done now. It is a little weird not being the one 
to do it, but I gotta learn to let things go. Gotta learn, especially while I'm pregnant. Another thing, another thing we're gonna start next week is training. So a lot of these vines that didn't get trained last year, these will get tied down. And uh, my north field definitely has a lot more that need to be trained. You'll see these sticking out everywhere. So we're gonna have training next week. And I think almost the whole vineyard will be trained then. Last year, you know, we had some that were kind of behind in growing, but uh, it's looking good out here, guys. Whew, almost feels like summer today. So in this video, it was a couple days ago and I was showing you guys the little dormant buds. Well, it, I think that was two days ago, okay? So I'm gonna show you guys what two days of nice weather does around here. So I was showing you guys stuff like this earlier, right? Well, look here, we are getting bud swell. So this is bud swell and I've been walking around and here is bud break. There we go, we've got some that are really waking up now, guys. It is go time here. There's another one. I'm walking around kind of checking and we're getting a lot like this. That's bud break. So the reason this is so important for me to check is there is actually a chemical we will remove from the mixture once we see bud break. The, and I probably I might be repeating myself, but the bud swell, it was okay to leave. But now that we've got that bud break, we've got one we want to remove because we don't want to hurt those little babies. But we're, we're getting close. Things are waking up. It's so exciting. All right. Whoa, got blinded. All right. John just finished for today. He got so close, which is not his fault. We actually ran out of chemicals. We had 20 rows left, but he worked all day for me today. I am so thankful. Ah, uh, see, empty tank. So we'll get more chemicals next week. So, so close, but I am so happy he got done what he got done. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Remember to hit that thumbs up button and the subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys next week.